I'm Steph Strickland with Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo TV, and I have some very special guests with me here in the studio. Hello, how Hi. are you? Good, really good, good thank, thank you. you. Did you pick up on the accent, everyone? We are joined now by the Royal Air Force Cadets. So do me a favor, please introduce yourself. We'll start with you and work our way down. Hello, um, I'm Cadet Sergeant Chima. Um, um, Where are you from? I'm from um, southeast of England, in a county called Kent. Awesome. What about you? Uh, I'm Cadet Corporal Chiswick, and well, me and Sergeant Chima are around, from around the same area. However, obviously we're from different squadrons. This is, I'm loving this right now, by the way. <laughs> and you, sir? Uh, I'm Flight Lieutenant Dave Emsley. Uh, I'm also from the South East. I'm from Sussex. Dave, tell me a little bit about why you guys are here and what your, your sort of tour has been like so far. You've been here for a week already. We certainly have. Uh, we come here to volunteer at Sun of Fun. Uh, we've been bringing cadets over to Sun of Fun since about 1994. Um, and uh, in that time, uh, while they're at this show, uh, they volunteer areas like General Aircraft uh, camping, general aircraft parking, uh, and in registration, which they also love because uh, they get to meet all the uh, lovely visitors coming to the show. But it's been a few years because we went through COVID since you guys have been here, so now you're back. Absolutely. COVID unfortunately stopped us coming. We wanted to come, but yeah. all the travel restrictions stopped us. Uh, so the last time we were here was 2019. Very pleased to be back this year. How many, how large is the contingent? Uh, we have 52 of us in total this year. That's 40 cadets and the 12 staff that look after them. Okay, what do you think? What do you think? Um, of the air show so far? Everything. It's I've been absolutely fantastic, an amazing experience. I've enjoyed every single moment of it. Um, I've enjoyed like watching the planes and just interacting with the people as well. What's your first impression? Um, temperature, massive change. Oh boy, <laughs> do, do not get me started. I oh, know, <laughs> you know, um, but other than that, the people are lovely. Yeah. Great to talk, especially in registration, very friendly like customers and just the staff, very friendly. Um, the air show completely changed the British ones. Much more, I'd say, extreme. <laughs> I love that. That's a great description. Yeah. High energy, a yeah. lot of stuff going on. Yeah. You've also picked an air show that is massive. Mm -hmm. So there's, I mean, it's every which way you look, there are airplanes. What got you interested in being a part of the cadets? Um, I think, so, when I moved back from America, um, my dad took me to Biggin Hill, it's a small private um, airport. And he took me to Biggin Hill and we basically, it does an air show there. And I think on that day, I basically fell in love with planes. And then obviously, I think my mum did a bit more research, found about the cadets. And then in September 2019 is when I first joined. What's your favorite airplane? You can't do this to me. I know. Uh, do you want to think about it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Because uh, so, tell me a little bit about what made you want to join. Um, I had a massive passion in planes and general sort of aviation. Um, I came across the organisation. I was like, oh, that's something I'd love to do. I kept pestering them. I was like, oh, when's your next intake? When's your next intake? And I joined in September 2019 as well. Do you have a favourite airplane? Oh. That is really hard. Okay, I'm going to let you think about it because I'm going to come to you next. Why is it important for you to have these cadets here and be a part of this experience over in North America? The cadets coming here have a great experience. It's not just the aviation. Um, the aviation is the focal point here. It, they love it. They, everything they do here, they get so much more access to aircraft than is ever possible in the UK. Um, they're up closer to the aircraft. They get to direct the aircraft on the airfield. Um, but also, aside from that, there's uh, what they do with the Warbirds ramp, making sure visitors stay safe, uh, and around many jet aircraft that they might not be familiar with. Um, there's the workshops where they get to go and try out their hand skills and learn new things about how aircraft are built, how aircraft are maintained. And they just can't do that easily in the UK because the, the scale of the aviation industry is so much smaller. So bringing them here, they get a vastly different experience. They love it. I've been bringing cadets here for a number of years now, and I really enjoy seeing what they get out of it. Do you have some favorite airplanes? <laughs> so, uh, I spent 20 years as an aircraft engineer. Um, uh, my first aircraft that I really worked on a lot was the Boeing 747, the Queen of the Skies. The Queen so of the Skies. It's got to be that one. I love that. OK, back to you on this. <laughs> have we thought about it? To yeah. an extent. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a few. OK, so, I love this. 
very, very controversial because I'm a Brit, but the A10. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves the A10. That's, that's, you welcome to the family. It's just an icon, I'd say. Yeah. yeah, it is. And then obviously it's strange, but the V22, the V22 Osprey, the um, tilt rotor. Never seen it, would love to see it. <laughs> and yeah, I'd say that's probably it. But jet-wise, F35. <laughs> oh, we've got those in spades around here, so. Yeah. Amazing, as do you guys. Now, what about your favorite airplanes? Um, probably just Carno. Um, I loved watching them fly and find them really interesting. I'm so glad that you guys are here. What else do you have in store? Because you're, you're here for Sun and Fun, and we're grateful for your support and your help meeting our Civil Air Patrol cadets. Absolutely. And just sort of integrating with us in such a wonderful fashion. We're glad you're back, but what else are you doing outside of the Sun and Fun experience? The cadets do love meeting Civil Air Patrol because they, they, they're similar, but they're different, so they do <laughs> like doing that. So uh, next week we're still here. Um, we, we leave in a week's time, uh, so we've got lined up. Uh, I don't think the cadets would let us bring them to Florida and not take part in some of the Floridian <laughs> activities. Um, so we have got lined up Universal and Bush Gardens. Nice. Um, We've already um, been airboating uh, and been down to an RAF war grave from uh, World War II mm -hmm. cadet trainee pilots uh, down in Arcadia. Mm -hmm. um, and then later in the week, uh, we're going to Kennedy Space Center and then Patrick Space Force Space and Cape Canaveral Space Station. This will be a trip of a lifetime. Yep. Yes. I am so glad to meet you and just have a small part of this grand experience for you guys. Thank you so much for making the time. I Pleasure. hope you guys stay cool with the temperature change <laughs> that you referenced earlier. Try. Yeah, you're going to try, right? Thank you very much. Thanks, Everyone, Steph. you have been watching Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo TV.